Hello everyone. Uh, I'm gonna show you today how to change the, the belt in your lawnmower Bush Rotake 34 Egoflex. Um, it's the same way for Rotake 37, 43, and um, yeah, because they have the same motor. 34, 37, 43 is just the length of the blade. It's not the motor. It's they all have the same motor. So if you want to change the belt for Rotake 37, 43, uh, whether with Ergo Flex or without it, it's the same one. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm gonna show you today. Uh, please, if you benefit from this video or you like it, uh, please a thumb up and uh, subscribe will be appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Basically, to start this job, uh, you will need uh, four things. First of all, you will need um, WD-40, you will need a brush, you will need a screwdriver, and spanner size 13, okay? Uh, first of all, um, you need to, um, before we start, just to let you know, you will have to take the blade off, four screws underneath, they're all the same size, and two screws on the top, on the cover here. So it's only blade and six screws. Four underneath, two on the top. Okay, so first of all, you turn it on the side, and then you've got the blade here with the bolt. Sorry, show you the bolt here. So you need to open it anti clockwise. Uh, sometimes, because you know, um, when you do this work, your lawnmower will be over three years old, so um, it will be very rusty. So that's why you need WD 40. Um, and then it will be easy. So to open it anti-clockwise and you get the blade off. Now you have three screws here. One, two, three. Okay. And the fourth one is here, hidden here. So that's why you need the brush. So when you clean it, because yours will be very dirty. It was with mine. So I had to clean it and then you get it off the last screw. It's the same. Um, four of them is the same size same everything okay so once you get this off look who's here my rabbit hazel this is my lawnmower i know they don't like lawnmowers hazel come here good girl okay and once you get the blade and the four screws off uh, you've got two screws on the top here okay once you get these two screws off, um, it's easy for you to get the cover off. Excuse me, Hazel. Okay. okay, once you get that cover off, then you've got the motor. And I did clean mine. It was very dirty. So yeah, you get that cover, it's easy. Then you've got a little clip here. You've got uh, here like, uh, you just click it off and it will come off. Okay, so you've taken this off, then you've got two wires, one blue at the back and the black in the front. You might have different colors, but make sure you mark it which one where, okay? And to get them off, it's so easy, you just need to fiddle with it and it comes, you pull it up and it comes off. It looks like a blade, sorry, uh, like a fork and the same for the back one, so just get it off and pull it up and it comes off so now you've got only this cover the square black one you get it off the motor okay Uh, with one hand is a bit difficult but it will come off okay now you got this cover off now you've got the motor now here where you, where you need to work and change the blade uh, sorry the uh, the belt so see you in a bit okay now we come to the motor okay this is the motor now other motors, they've got like um, screws here, which you can undo it and then you're losing the pulley, okay? With this one, it's different. 
So to chain the belt, the belt is too short. Okay. So if you keep trying to do it, do it, do it that way, you're gonna be fighting the whole day to put it on, which you can't. It's impossible. Okay. So what you need to do really, you, you pull the pulley off. Okay. Take it off. Um, as you can see, there is a, a tube here. Uh, sorry, a, a cube. I'll show you. When you take this off, it will flip out. <coughs> I'll show you now. Okay, so you need to take it off. It's just pushed. Uh, it's just pushed in. <clears throat> okay, that's what you need. Just to take it off. Then it's easy for you to put the belt on. Now you've got this cube always flip out. What's this for? It's just like a, a brake pad to hold the, the pulley when you stop the lawnmower. So you can put it back and then you put that back. If you're not, if you can't, then even if you take it off and you put that back, still the lawnmower will work. Okay, you just put it back. Okay, push it in and you get the belt. Okay, and this is how you do it. So, and then you push, you push, push, push. Okay, you push it in. Okay, now the belt is on. Sometimes you don't find it in a straight line, but don't worry, when you're gonna put the blade on, the blade is gonna push, push the pulley more in to make it straight in one line. So as you can see, you just take it off, put the belt on and push it in. Okay. Okay. Now the belt is on. Now you put it back and uh, yeah. So see you in a bit. There you go. Yeah, I just pushed it in. Now the motor is on. Okay. Now after you put it back, the motor, you need to put the wiring back. Okay. It just sticks in. Push it in. Okay. Now you click this back. Here we go. And the blue at the back, remember, maybe you will have different colors. So you just push it in. And this, the black one in the front, push it in. Okay. Make sure it's all tight. Okay, now you put the cover back for the motor. Make sure you line it at the back. Okay, it's all lined. And then you put the cover back. Okay, you put it back, get the wire off. Okay. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, now after putting everything back, putting the blade clockwise, the four screws underneath, the two screws on the cover, let's uh, have a, a go and see. Sorry my rabbit, it's gonna be a bit scary for you, but let's see. So it's all working. Okay guys, uh, I hope uh, you benefit from this video. If you did, uh, put a thumb up and subscribe. Thank you very much.